Angela, you are the recently named president and CEO of CompuData. So tell me about CompuData. What do you do? Well, we're a 40-year-old technology company. We provide uh, technology services for mid-sized businesses in the uh, East Coast region, headquartered in Philadelphia. Um, we do ERP systems, CRM systems, HR systems, IT, uh, remote access, variety. We, we try to handle the entire IT infrastructure and needs of mid-sized businesses. So that's a really critical agenda for mid-sized businesses. Tell me what makes CompuData better at that service than anybody else. Well, I think we're, we come from a strong customer service background. Um, we've been in business for 40 years. It was originally a timeshare in a big giant mainframe area. Um, we have done many things for customers. We've sort of have evolved our business as our customers' needs have changed. And I think that that makes us a little bit unique. A lot of technology companies only last for, you know, sort of a flash in the pan for a specific technology. Whereas we will help, um, have many of our clients and we will help them grow as their businesses grow. So you actually are able to adapt and be transformed as you transform your, your clients' businesses. Yes, that's exactly what we do. And interestingly, this was a family business, correct? This was started by yes, your father? Yes, this was started by my father in 1971. So you really have very much by definition ab adapted and grown over the years. What yes. is it at the core of the culture of the company that allows that flexibility? Well, one of, again, it's, it's the focus on the individual customer. Um, many a times we will have a nice technology that's making us a good amount of money, but we know that that's not the best technology for the customer. So essentially we will eat into our own revenues, advise the client to change to a, a more cost-effective solution for them. Um, so it's just sort of the core of what we have done. So you have never wavered in keeping your cu customer's best interests at the forefront. That's right. We have run into uh, flaming buildings. We have, uh, when there was a tornado that hit Philadelphia, we housed a, a company in our training center. We have always put the customer first and gone above and beyond for them. Well, that's clearly a cornerstone of a successful business strategy. Yes. Did you learn that from your father? Was that something you brought to the business as a new CEO, or has it always been there? No, I think that's something that my father started, and we've just continued. It's sort of the tradition. It's not just in my DNA, but in all of our employees. We have, again, had a long um, standing relationship with our employees. Many of them have been with us 20 some years. and. It's a f like a family business, so you know, it, even it, though they're not family, it seems that way. In a nutshell, you're really very good at relationships, both with your customers and your employees. That's what we think that all of life is about. Well, I, I can echo that. That sounds like a very good, a good statement. So how do you actually hire and train employees to in, b embrace that DNA themselves? Well, I guess that's kind of a difficult thing to do. We look for people who have that sort of sense you know, that integral to themselves, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. already. And then we try to train them to uh, have the technology knowledge and things like that. But I think that the feeling to help and support customers is already comes with them. I don't think you can train that into somebody. So you think that's part of a person's basic construct or yeah, it's just I, not Yeah, I believe there. it is. Now, I know that you have won many awards and you've been acknowledged from outside the firm. Um, for this culture and for your performance. Tell us about those awards. Well, we have been uh, a Sage business partner since 1971, which is an ERP software, also um, CRM and, and HR, and we have won the awards with them, the President's Circle, for many years in a row, uh, a million dollar club, which means that we have sold more than a million dollars worth of, of their software. Um, we've also been acknowledged by Accounting Technology Magazine as a technology pace setter. Um, as a VAR 100, you know, a VAR is a, a value-added reseller, and we are listed frequently as one of the top uh, 100 in the country. And those are wonderful recognitions. As you look down the road, how do you want to continue this trajectory of growth and, and accomplishment? What are you thinking will be your plan for continued expansion? Well, we're um, starting to partner with other organizations, um, which is something new for us. We have tried to do everything sort of as a unit our, ourselves, and now we're looking to partner with uh, other companies as well, people who have the same values as we do to try to add additional services to our customers. In addition to that, we are also, as technology is changing, we are sort of changing um, and adapting our business once again um, with new cloud-based technologies and offering those services to some of our clients as their needs change. It sounds like this theme of change has been pervasive and also is um, going to propel you nicely into the future. I hope so. I want to wish you a lot of luck and thank you for joining Thanks. us.